It's been said, without worship, we go about miserable. And it's true. The Bible says authentic worship is holy and pleasing to God. It brings joy to his heart, but it also brings joy, real joy, into our hearts. In Psalm 62 through 67, King David worships the Lord by reminding himself who God is. First, in chapter 62, David issues a calm resolve to his own soul to wait upon the salvation of God. My soul, David said, wait silently for God alone, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense, I shall not be moved. In Psalm 63, David praises God for his kindness. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. Next in Psalm 64, David rejoices even when he's being oppressed by the wicked. He says, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and trust in him and all the upright in heart shall glory. And I would encourage you today to read each one of these short songs of David. There are three more in chapter 65, 66, and 67. Next, find one, just one, that best fits where you're at today. I don't know what you've got going on in your life, but we're all going through something, right? So find a song you can identify with, get alone, and read that psalm out loud to the Lord in an attitude of worship. Why do you do that? Well, I think you'll find the answer to that in the doing of it. Is worshiping the Lord pleasing to our God? You bet it is. But it also has a positive impact on you and I. Invest some time in communing with the Lord today. Spend some time in His presence reading a song of praise to him and experiencing the life-changing power of worship.